Good morning, folks. It's been a relatively calm day on our star and below our feet. Let's take a peek at some extreme weather and interesting articles today. But before that, we're going to go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star looking quiet. All the focus is currently on the northeastern limb where we've got a sunspot and a couple plasma filaments. As we come in for a closer look, we see the northernmost filament standing straight up as a solar tornado, while the rope south of him and behind in longitude is more horizontally oriented with both ends connected to the solar surface. The sunspot coming in south of those filaments is indeed alone, no solar flares being made. A heart-shaped penumbra with exceptional depth on the Doppler gram and which carries negative magnetism in the umbra with trailing positive plagues. Solar wind had its second intensification event overnight with purple trying to go back up, but Earth's shield is better than a half-cock coronal hole stream, magnetosphere holding the line for now. Our top stories include a reduction in Saharan dust 11,000 years ago, which likely increased their monsoon season and would have increased precipitation and global temperatures due to reduced albedo. Interestingly, that it began at the epoch of the last solar grand maximum on the multi-millennial scale, which of course didn't happen again until this past century. Interesting article out about the great Saturn storm of 2010 and 2011. It was too early, it was too big, and it was not anywhere they expected it to be seen. Like a Category 6 hurricane lasting a month in Lake Erie. Just not supposed to happen. New Caledonia watched an earth spot run overhead this week, and right now they're cleaning up after massive landslides. Qatar might have taken the rain instead of what they got. Sisters twisting outside a construction site in the Middle East nation. Up next, that's a hurricane at the Central American coastline. Otto has intensified and already proven deadly. As he is approaching official landfall, the rains have already arrived. There were landslides here as well. Trees fell, one landed on a young boy. And folks, that's all before the hurricane has officially made landfall. As it does so today, it will weaken considerably, but it is worth noting that it might reform in the Pacific Ocean once it crosses. Eyes on it. Folks, we've got about half the responses we need on the beta process to get things going. I hoped Friday would be when we got these betas out to you, but it's looking like Monday. Your responses to the beta survey ASAP are much appreciated. Apple and Android versions on deck. Also, folks, our upcoming conference, Observing the Frontier. We've had a couple cancellations in the VIP section, so if you're one of the folks waiting for one or two of those tickets to reappear on cells, I imagine they'll last about half the day. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.